Right, so some of you may or may not know that I have a, I have an ePay message. Well, right, that's that sorted out. Anyway, I've got a lot of stuff for sale on eBay at the moment. Anyway, I've got a passion for photography, and I have done for many years now. So, I've been looking around in the loft to try and find a load of my old photography equipment, and I found quite a lot of it. We've got this Practica camera here. I've got another one in this bag here, which is a Canon, but we're gonna have a look at that in another video. I've got um, quite a few cameras actually that we're going to be having a look at in some videos that are coming up, uh, you know, fairly soon. But I thought for this one we could have a look at this practica, um, or however you would practica, 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 whatever, whatever kind of accent you've got and how you would pronounce that. Let's have a look at it. It's uh, the bag is in very good condition, so. I'd like to hope that the camera inside is still in good condition. It's only been up in the loft and my loft is well sealed. It does get very cold in the winter and very hot in the summer. But, um, and some of you may know that is bad for 35mm um, cameras because there's little oils and things inside and the heat makes, them, makes the oil go thin and it runs about and then the cold makes it go hard. But we can certainly have a look inside this bag and have a look at the camera and see what it's like. Just move that up slightly, it might make it a bit better. So I have opened it and had a quick look and I put batteries in the flash. Oh I didn't put batteries in the flash, I thought I'd put batteries in the flash, I must have put batteries in the other flash. But we've got um, a BC1600 flash with this camera. Uh, I can't remember it being a very good flash to tell you the truth. Um, but. Uh, that was always annoying as well. Even with batteries in there, it's a little bit loose. What else have we got? We've got a film tub. Um, we seem to have some instructions. Practica BC1600, computer dedicated electronic flash gun. Lovely. So if you're into all sorts of bits of paper and instructions, that may well interest you. Let's see if there's a date on this. I think these cameras were from about 1980, made in Singapore. But I think these cameras were from about 1980. We've got a couple of lens covers there. Um, oh, we've got a strap. Obviously, I didn't have the strap on. I don't. <laughs> I like to risk it sometimes. I don't very often put the strap on. Oh, look at that! We seem to have the. I would assume it to be the original Practica battery that would have gone inside it. What is it? An LR, oh no, sorry, a 4LR44. I didn't realise that was in there. I did, um, we've lost the lens cover. The lens cover's come off, I'll stick that back on. What lens has it got on it actually? It's got a 50mm lens on there. Lovely. This is actually a very nice example of a camera. I do remember that when I bought it, it was in quite good condition at the time, and over the you know over the years, it still still kept its condition. It's got film in there, and we're on a full frame, so it's got a film in there. God knows how old that film is, but it has got a film in there. So that's pretty much. There's not a lot really to say about this. It's a, it's a BMS electronic, lovely. Got a nice lens, nice and movable. The thing that I liked about these cameras was that, oh one thing, I've never got that check to work, check the battery, but one thing that I like about them is you've got the light meter along the right hand side. As you look in the viewfinder you've got the light meter in the right hand side. Don't know if I'm going to be able to show you an example. Probably not, I can't imagine that we'd get any kind of focus. No. Quite a lot of dust that's kind of made its way in the bag somehow. Unless that was already there, I don't know. But you've got the light meter on the right hand side and the little lights go up and down. Not here, um, inside the viewfinder. And the little lights go up and down the right hand side of the viewfinder to tell you 
whether you're overexposed or underexposed, where you need to go with your exposure and everything like that. You've got your ISO here that you can adjust. You can adjust this when you put your film in. When you put your film in, you pull this up. I'm not going to open it because it's got film in it. I don't want to ruin that film. I'm going to run that film out later. But you pull that up and that opens up the back and then you can adjust your ISO to what kind of film you've got in there. That's like that. That's very good. Shutter speed. Um, you've got a self timer as well on these, self timer, and you have got a removable lens, you can remove your lens nicely, there's a fair bit of dust in there as well somehow, but very nice camera, I, you know, I do like these cameras, I like the design, I like the square look of the design of these cameras, I do think they're quite nice. So, that didn't take very long for us to look over this camera. I'm going to go and get um, a quite a bit older camera and we can have a quick look at this older camera as well while we're here, shall we? I think that's a good idea, don't you? Right, now let's put all this away, put that up there next to the old bonsai tree in the background. Now this, I think it's a great shame that you can't get the films for these anymore. I know you can do modifications to different types of films to make them work and I may have a go and experiment and try and get this to work. but. For the time being, you can't, well for now, they've stopped making them. For, as far as I know, you can't actually buy the actual film for these anymore. Let's see if there's anything in this little pouch. Oh, there is. There's some dark slides in that little pouch. Now, this is a fantastic camera, and the only reason I'm keeping it is because it's fantastic. I love it. I really love it. I love the older style. You know, the 80s style, man. It was the nuts. Uh, if I could, I'd go back and live in the 80s because it was just the nuts, the 70s and 80s. We've got a little bit of paperwork in with this camera as well. Look at that nice colourful rainbow strap. So, we've got ourselves a Kodak EK260EF instant camera made in USA. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. You can adjust your focus, you um, Zoom, sorry, from two to four feet to four feet to 1.2 meters. That little thing that just pumps up there. You've got your, your lighting, or you can always darken it down. You've got your adjustments, you've got your flash, what comes out there. I think it's brilliant. You cannot buy the films anymore to put into these. You can buy ordinary 600 film, like this but it won't go into these cameras um, and even if you could even if you was to use this this is like 15 pound for one packet and in one packet you only get eight whereas i think you used to get 10 back in the day but you only get eight now polaroids originals are the people that make this polaroid um, film now but it doesn't work in these cameras so it's a bit of a shame and also these cameras you have to put batteries in them Whereas the other ones that take this film, they don't. And I have got a camera what takes this film, so there'll be a video coming up on a Polaroid camera relatively soon. You've got your little viewfinder at the back there. It's fantastic. It really is. I love the older, the older style. If I haven't said it enough times, I love the older style of cameras. It's just, uh, it's brilliant. So let's have a look at some paperwork that we've also got in with this. I'm not quite sure what this is. Is there any date on it for a start? There we go. Offer closes the 31st of December 1982. So this is some kind of off, this is a voucher for something. Um, free Kodak instant film voucher. So <laughs> free film voucher. This voucher entitles you to a free Kodak instant color film when you collect four black cover sheets from packs of Kodak instant color film. That would be why there's four of them in that uh, in that case. <laughs> That's why they're in there. Makes sense now. Uh, a cover sheet is ejected from your camera when you load a fresh film cartridge and press the shutter release for the first time. Yep. You simply fill in this voucher and send it all send it with all four covers to the address shown overleaf. Your free Kodak Instant Color film will then be sent to you by post. Please allow 28 days for delivery. 
Offer closes on the 31st of December 1982. Fantastic. So you had to collect your four. You had to collect your four slides. One, two, three, four. You had to collect all four of those. And then you had to fill in this um, thing with your name and address and send it off to their address, wherever that would have been. Where would their address have been? Always handle carefully when loading, blah, blah, blah. Remember the copies of them still print can be. Where's the address then? Oh, oh, there it is, right in front of me, look. Post a code at Instant Film of a PO Box, 125 Watford, Hertz. So it's only down the road, blimey. Send it off, and you would have got your free pack of instant colour film. Brilliant! That's fantastic! I really wish you could get it now. If anyone out there knows where you can actually still buy some film for this camera, even if it's out of date, I'd still buy it and risk it because I just want to see if the camera works. I think it'll be interesting. So we've got the instruction manual here as well for this camera. Kodak EK 260EF instant camera. English, Deutsch, Espanol. I'm not going to go for all the languages because I can't speak them. It's in loads of languages. It basically just tells you how to use the camera. Um, let's see if there's a date of when this was printed. Oh blimey, it's in some, it's in that funny Arabic language as well. Now there must be a date somewhere when this was, this manual was printed. I would have thought. There we go. Eastern Kodak Company, 1980. So that gives us a rough idea of when this camera was then. If this was printed in 1980, and this competition ended in 1982, this camera must have been made somewhere in between 80 and 82, I would have thought. So that's that. Oh, brilliant. So if you liked having a look at some old cameras that I've got in my collection, I've got this one in this bag here, which is a Canon. I'm not gonna tell you which one. And I've got quite a few older ones from 1965. Um, this Canon one is from a, roughly about 1980, the same. Um, but I've got some other ones from 1965 and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, stick around. And uh, there'll be a few videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. Sweet!